Does it seem like no matter what you do, your hands are always cold? Well, then I got just a thing for you. Stick around, guys. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys, I want to talk to you today about a product that I enjoy. I uh, first want to say this is a product that I have purchased myself and have used for many years. This company is not sponsoring me or paying me. They don't even know I'm doing this video. I just wanted to share it with you. And like I say, I've been using it for years and years. It's a great product, especially as we get into the fall winter season where it starts to get cold and your hands can get cold. Well, maybe. here's the product. It's the Zippo Hand Warmer. Okay? I'll show you close up. But this is the uh, Zippo Hand Warmer. And uh, you can see it's a very slim profile. It's only a half inch thick. It's 3.9 inches tall and two and a half inches wide. It only weighs 2.6 ounces and it comes with this protective pouch that you can put it in because it does get warm. Now, you put it in the pouch and it has a drawstring so it's not going to come out. So if you hold it upside down, it's not going to fall out of the pouch. But that pouch keeps the warmth in. It does a great job of keeping your hands warm. If you're really, really, really cold, you want your hands to be a lot warmer, you can always take the hand warmer out of the pouch. And it will be extremely warm have to be careful that it's not so hot that you can't hold it but there's a big difference between having it out and having it in the pouch now I have two of them and the reason is because I like to keep one in each coat pocket I'm going to show you now how they work basically they are uh, powered by lighter fluid I prefer the Zippo fluid. I don't have a particular brand preference other than that, but if you were want to, you can use the Ronson oil. As of November, what is it, this is 8th, 2020, you can get these on Amazon for $13.82. I've had mine for a while. I've used them a lot when I go camping and when I go hunting in the cold weather, and they work great. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit and I'm going to demonstrate to you how they work and how they function, alright? Okay, so here we have our lighter fluid, and when you purchase them, they come with this little, looks like a little mini gas can, and this is just a uh, filling tube that you use to fill up the product. Again, it has a line on there that indicates the proper amount of fuel that you should use. Now, when you fill it to that line, they anticipate that this will burn for 12 hours and trust me it does 
If you only want it to burn for six hours, then fill it halfway, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill mine up. So what you do is you open up your, your Zippo fluid and you just simply fill this container up. Make sure I'm on camera there. Fill the container up. until you hit that 12 hour line on there and I'm not sure how well that's coming out on the camera and then of course safely you want to close up your fuel alright so now you have your fuel ready to load to do so all you do is you take your Zippo hand warmer simply pull off the top and then you have this little device right here. This is called a catalytic burner, okay? It's like a wick. And you just pull that off, okay? See how easy that comes off. Set it aside. Now this is where you pour your fuel, okay? See that little hole right there? Very similar to a Zippo lighter, huh? Gee, imagine that. Then you put the nozzle in there, and you just simply uh, you take your time and allow it to soak in. So basically what you do is you just keep going until you get all that fuel. And you might, you know, you might spill over a little bit. That's okay. That's alright. Let's see a little bit spill. That was, there must have already been a little bit of fuel in there because it's kind of full. So what you can do in that case is you can take a paper towel or a bandana or a cloth of some sort and just wipe it off. Make sure I'm not staying on the camera here. Just wipe it off and get any of that excess fluid off of the, the hand warmer itself, okay? Now what you do is you take the catalytic burner and you simply place it back on there, okay? Just like that. Now you're ready to activate it. And to do that, you just take a lighter. If it's a Zippo, okay. If it's not, that's all right. And then you just hold that lighter. You want to do it on both sides. Now, it's not going to flame up, okay? It's not going to flame up because you didn't put any fluid on that catalytic burner. You just hold a flame on there for about 10 seconds. And then what's going to happen after you replace the top, like so, it's going to start to get warm. Now, it does take a couple of minutes. It's not like instantaneous, but in just a couple of minutes that's gonna it's I can already feel it starting to get warm so uh, you can do that now I'll do this other one too some people I'm not gonna fill this one all the way up just for demonstration purposes here take off the catalytic burner Pour the fluid in. There you go. Wipe off any excess. Replace the catalytic. Now what some people will do, and this is what I was going to show you with this one. What some people will do, and you don't really have to do this, but I've seen that some people do it, put a couple of drops of lighter fluid on the catalytic converter then put that on there wipe off any excess and what's going to happen here when you light this you see it does make a flame on the catalytic uh, burner and what you can do is you can just hold that on there for a few seconds just enough to get that catalytic converter started I keep saying catalytic converter, that's what's on a car, catalytic burner, until it just goes out. And then when it goes out, you can put the top on there. Some people say that that actually makes it 
start faster. I don't know. But yeah, that's all you do. Here, feel that. Feels good, doesn't it? And it'll get a lot warmer, too. And like I say, if you hold it just naked in your hands like that, it's really warm. But if you put it in this little pocket, and then uh, just do the little drawstring like that so that it doesn't fall out, yeah, keeps your hands nice and toasty. You put it in your pocket, and it's going to make your pocket really warm. Another thing you can actually do if you're camping and you don't camp with your shoes on, but if you take your shoes off when you go to bed at night to camp, you can actually put this in your sock since you're not going to be walking around and uh, if you have cold feet and put this in your sock, then you put your sock on and that sits under the bottom of your foot and it keeps your feet nice, nice and toasty all night long. You don't have to worry about keeping it upright. I mean, if it were to if it, if it were to go upside down, it's not going to leak or spill. If you were to take the top off and turn it upside down, it's not going to leak out or it's not going to spill. So you don't have to worry about that. And these catalytic burners will last a long time. Now, I will tell you, be very careful to always keep the top on because that catalytic burner does get very, very hot to the touch. I mean, if you touch it, you'll, you'll burn yourself. So don't touch that part. That's why they make the top that goes on there. But like I say, it's spill-proof. Just a great little product that I wanted to tell you guys about if you are interested in it you can find it on Amazon you can also buy them at Walmart I think you might even be able to get them at Home Depot or Lowe's I'm not sure I just wanted to share that with you that's the Zippo 6 to 12 hour hand warmer I highly recommend it it just feels so warm if you're interested in it go check them out made by Zippo a brand that's been around for a long time a brand that you can trust until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.